Good evening, everybody. Tonight, we are out in Chelseth Reborn. And this place is kind of hard to get to, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. Because you start out out here in a beach that's just like Oasis. And look at the group we have tonight. On my right, well, actually, let's start all the way from the left of your screen. Tear Eye, played by Blayboy. He's our cleric, real life cleric. And next, to, hit, to the right of him, Lady Shanene. That's going to be our warrior. And to the right of that character is going to be Pharaoh, played by Agrathan. In the middle, yours truly, Steel Plate, played by Cat's Meow. And to the left, watching over us, is Les W. Always nice to have him along. <coughs> and to the, to the right of that is La Crane, <laughs> played by Donovan. And he's going to lead us tonight. Uh, he was the one that suggested this, and I'm glad he did, because this is a beautiful zone. And wait till I show you. And... For all the way on the right, we have Dan playing Uda. He's going to be our mage. Now, let's take a look back. Look at this, guys. If you thought the Snake Temple was cool, look at this. Check this place out. That is some <laughs> awesome stuff. It is, And no, that's, that's not the snake's coffin. That's my girlfriend's coffin in the background. But anyway, this place is cool. And the first thing is when you go up there, you get thrown into this little quest. But we'll see. We may or may not do that. And here we go, nice, nice bard songs ever. Guys, I am ready and uh, ready to go. If anybody has to, wants to say anything, you got the comms. Go ahead. Never been to this show. Is it? Never. There's, fun. There's a first time for everything. Great. You guys are going to have, it's just impressive. I mean, and it's some great stuff. Anyway, everybody's got the quest from uh, Silchek here. It's a kill mission? Yep, I do. Okay, fantastic. Okay, guys. Um, all right, lead away. Yeah, I got that. I like that battle leap skill. Oh boy. Gotta love it. And we got a real, this is all real players. And if, if it's too loud or anything, guys, let me know. I just hope it's not too loud because I'm playing a little bit closer tonight. I may just change the sounds a little bit. Just so it's not too loud for you guys. I'm at 30, so go down to 25. Hopefully they won't be too loud. Looks like we got a whole crocodile family coming tonight. And I do like this new jumping skill I got. Woohoo! And I tried to get all my skills set up so that I can do maximum damage. But uh, yeah, that's not me killing them that fast. That's everybody. We have a real strong group tonight. We're going to tear this place apart. Okay, and Serata Seas, you are always low to me. Uh, low meaning, uh, you mean, is my view low or uh, my, my sound? Do you want me to turn the sound up a little? I'll turn it up a little, Serratus. I think that's what you mean. I'm going to go to 35. Is my voice or the game sounds? Because I can, I can up my voice, my voice sound if you like. And here we are, we're out on the beach. And one nice thing about this place is this place is just like the oasis. Where the mobs aren't too social at all. You gotta love that battle leap. I, I really just, I get hooked on that. Oh, my voice is, okay. Then in that case, let me change the voice a little bit. 
I think I got that set to max. I don't know, I gotta set that somewhere else. So let me try to do this here and change this a little bit lower. I don't know how to set, the, the voice isn't set through here. Yeah, I have to set that back in OBS or something. Sorry about that, Serratus. I have to tweak that if it's a little... Can I get a hit point check from everybody when you get a chance? Okay, I'm at 107,000. Uh, I've got 112,000. Wow, that's crazy. 121k. Oh my gosh, that is even more crazy. Makes me want to jump up in the air like that. How many on the tank? Hit point? Yeah. Oh. 210. Yeah, that's what I need. Whoa, nice. Hey, hey guys, Ryan, high times, welcome back. How you doing, Ryan? Have you been to this zone before? This is uh, uh, Chelsith Reborn. I think we finished that kill mission quest. We did. So if we finish it, you can always go back and uh, talk to the Silchek guy. And there it is. Look at that. Experience point two. So nothing to write home about. But, you know... You can always, it's, this is like that guy uh, uh, that's in House of Thule when you go in. You know, the guy that gives you rot dogs and skeletons that, that you snakes on. He's just like that. Now, you're going to be in for a treat, Ryan, because look at this place. Look at this. It's like the snake temple, and this is the, the zone of the snake people. There is, at the far end of the beach, down there, the way I'm facing, there's a named guy that will spawn sometimes. He's not on the list here. And I forgot what his name is, but uh, he'll sometimes spawn there. I gotta change out all of these alphas. Bobby Flick, I think. Yeah, I think that's the one. I don't know why the alpha doesn't go up here. Whoa, and he just dead like that. Guys, I would try to move the uh, microphone a little bit closer. Maybe that'll help. Oh, sorry that it's so low. It's always low for you. Ryan, how is, uh, how's the sound? Is it low for everybody? I just want to check to see, because if it's just low for one person, but if it's low for everybody, then I gotta do some fixing. What kind of mobs in the zone? They're mostly snake people. You're gonna get to see some crazy looking snake folks up there. Snakes, William Kelly. Oh, we missed you, William Kelly. All slots are taken, William, but we tried to save. Okay, so Shanene can hear. Is it is it loud enough over there, Shanene? Oh, and what's this here? That's oh, it's a meat shield. Who's that? Cool. That's my uh, pet. Oh wow, pet. nice. Hello, meat shield. <laughs> Overseer. Yeah, might as well kill him. Yeah, these guys, yeah, I remember. Running out, running out of mobs. Okay, we're going to go upstairs after this. Ooh, I like my slow. But best of all, I'm a big jump like that. I, I just get a kick out of that, you know. 
One thing I like about playing the monk is you get all these nice animations, but this here takes the cake. Get the hammer jump. Okay, well that's great then. Okay, so William Kelly, Ryan says the sound's okay then. Okay, so maybe on your side then, Serratus. Okay, should we go up the uh, ramp? He can see through Inviso, I think. Oh, I'm rooted. Who's that? Oh, I'm. So you put something. Yeah, you're in, in there. Okay, we'll come over there. As long as you're in Viso, guys, you can just go around this way here. Uh, so who's that back there? That is. Okay, yeah. Let's go Call get him. He's in the prison. Call who? Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, uh, I'll come get you. you. You can actually walk out of there if you want. You just have to hail the guy. I'm coming, running around the corner. I did this part already, so here I go. I know the way around it. And then we can kill all these guys. Like You actually can get the quest for the patroller and all that. Uh, where are you guys? Oh, you're in there. If you don't rage, I can just call them if we need to. Okay, so I'm I'm in the door from your place, so you guys can come on out. You you won't be able to attack the guy in there. But he gives you a quest, but you know, you can do it later, like there. And that's good, William, as long as you enjoy watching, it's always good, you know, having you too. Yeah, a violent guard. I wish we could kill him, but you can't. If you talk to this guy a bunch of times, you know, it's kinda of buggy actually for me. Then he'll give you another quest to go back down and you know, do the fisherman quest. But it ain't worth the experience, I'll tell you. Because why? I think I already went. Yeah, I already went like 4% already. So it ain't worth it. Just as long as we get out of here. So then from here, you just take a right and come out the door. And up here, there's supposed to be some mobs here. Somewhere around this building, if we clear out all the buildings, if somebody wants to pull the buildings and we just stand in the middle here or something like stand right here, then somebody can just pull and we just slaughter everything. I'm sure we'll run into one or two names. Bring out the victims. Bring out the dead. <laughs> yeah, our old patrol. It's just a flesh wound. They're all mailed. Gotta put in one little hammer jump in there. Gotta love that jump. Oh yeah, love these jumps. Woohoo! As a cleric, I would like to say I like playing the work. Oh, uh, what's that again? As a cleric, I like playing him as a warrior. Yeah, I totally like that too. I totally agree. A cook. Ah. That, that, that's a lot of mobs. Yeah, that, that is a lot. Um. Watch aggro, please. Okay. We'll do. Yeah, back now, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take a while. Oh, boy. Bam. Wow, huh? 
Bart send them home. Oh, nice job there. I, I think we just killed them all. Oh boy. That was fast. It's just junk items, I guess. I went 2%. Wow, wow. Oh boy, look at this. Going down. Time for my big happy jump. We're blowing them away. We're gonna we're gonna run into some boss monsters, guys. So you guys waiting out there? You will see some bosses. You will not be disappointed at the rate we're going. Wow, there was uh, the farmer's market just been dismantled, I'd say, guys. <laughs> oh, sure. Well, if we, you, you, you let us know when we should move up. I hope you guys are liking my big jump there as much as I am. My big crazy jump. Won't need the map now because you guys will get the idea. Favor is doing some great damage. I'm gonna tell oh, Tony the Tiger didn't last very long. That was quick. Yeah, just don't look at the stats. <laughs> I see you hitting some good hits out there. Snakes on a plane. That's right, guys. That's what it's called. I guess we'll move up a little. Oh, nothing here. So the only thing left is, is anybody home, I guess, unless we cleared out their, all these little buildings. Okay, I guess I'll wait out here. An occultist, ooh. Bring it out, please. Oh yeah, bring it on out here. Huh, they're on the other side, what happened? How'd that happen? Ooh. I'm over here with Lady Shanene. Oh, you guys are on the other side of the building. How'd that happen? I found them. Uh, Tirai, I think we got to go around the outside. I think they're on the other side. Yeah. Uh, here they are. Hey, I got people to heal My jump was so powerful, it, it looked like I killed them, but I didn't. Yeah, so they came out the other side. I get it. Confusing little place. Now, that's one side. If we go over the other side, other lower left side building, there's another named guy over there. Okay, I guess uh, let us know if we need to move up with you, or we'll just hang out over here. SK is just kind of just killing stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, bring it over here, Donovan, or let us know if you want us to come over there. Yeah, I can bring it over to y'all. Okay. 
We could always follow after you. This kill, after this kill, let's move over to the other side. Okay, sounds good. Dude. I think the SK saying, I don't need your stinking healing. It's a good time to work on those nukes, but best of all, we have you here, and that's all that really matters. Wow, going down fast. So what yeah. about the snakes on the plane? Just, you may have to adjust your spells. I was saying snakes on a plane up here. The snakes everywhere. Okay, guys, come on up. What about the snakes? There's snakes everywhere and scorpions. This is like the, the Shazra Temple, reminds me of. <laughs> snakes on the plane. Sorry, I had to. That's okay. Yes. These guys are tough, but not tough enough for us. is just the coolest thing. Once I found that leap, I was like, it's called Battle Leap. It's like, who cares if it does nothing? It gives you a 35% boost to melee. I was like, who cares if it does nothing? I just like the way it looks. And the cultists. Ooh, boy, these guys are much tougher. Bring out the gimp. I'm dipping my toes in mayonnaise, Bob. I build crowbar fans. Bob slogan. Interesting. Experience check in a moment. Just curious. Oh, and it has it. What is this here? Oh, it's a collectible. Okay, I'll hit greed on that. Okay, last time we we're at 33, we we're at 37. Moving right along, that's pretty fast. How you doing, Agrathan? And uh, how you? How's your experience going? I started off at 12, now I'm at 25. Okay, that's good. Ooh, we have a we have the Blade Queen. This is a, oh my gosh. We got a fight over there? Is this immune? She may be slightly immune in some way. Uh, okay, you want us to come over there? Let us know. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, she's just really tough. Wow, go for it all out. Everything all out. Wow, okay, one name down. Ba bam. Ooh, check this out. Happy 60th birthday. Okay, are you 60? Bob Slogan? Okay, here it is, guys. Stoner Tranquility. Uh, it is a AUG for 25 purity. Guys, go ahead and roll if you want it. A trained scorpion. 
Got 1% off that. <laughs> These guys are crazy tough. Alright, nice to have Agrathan's haste in here and uh, makes a dip. Dano, he and his crash been acting up all night. 60. Oh, not not level 60, uh, Bob Slogan. Um, now I'm level 100. There you go, level 100. Getting there, almost going to be tonight, maybe 101 if all goes well. And we have an occultist, but I see a scorpion here. There's a quest guy over there. Yeah. Talk to that quest guy, you need to kill six scorpions. Oh, shoot, let me go over and talk to him. Like, ah, should have done that. Let's talk to this guy here. If you haven't, because we just, we're gonna, that way we get our, our scorpion kills. Okay, got crocodiles. Uh, yeah, I gotta kill some scorpions. We'll get to them. Okay, and that's the other thing. Uh, talking about your age in real life. No, I'm not 60. <laughs> uh, what made you think I'm 60? I'm actually 90. I'm 46. Oh, wow, that's that's a good age. That is seven. Okay. How's this quest doing? Uh, two out of six scorpions. Is there only two scorpions right here, or is there more somewhere else? Oh, there'll probably be some more. So we worked uh, to the southwest side. Uh, uh, how old am I? I'm I'm 100, uh, Bob Slogan, but can't give my real age out. That's a secret. <clears throat> age and occupation are and 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 who I am is a big secret. Has to be. I'm retired. It's the best occupation they have. That is a great occupation, I tell you. Oh, I wish we wish for that. Uh, be nice, relax, and retire. And my wife hates it. What happened? How did he die? He didn't die. Did he go blink dead? He must have went blink dead. Oh, he didn't blink dead? Yeah, he did say something about his internet acting up. Okay. Um... No more pets, though. Okay, so... Okay, uh, Dano, are you there? Oh, he won't be able to play with his internet. Okay. Well, Dano, it was good having you. Do you guys want to add Less W in? Sure. Okay, Less W, if you're out there. 
I'm, I'm nearby, just killing stuff. Okay, uh, you, um, uh, Donovan, you're at you. Give me a sec. Okay, we'd love to have you. Whereabouts on the map are you? Okay, hang on a second here. We're on the bottom left hand side. Uh, yeah, left hand side by uh, of the Gladiator Arena. If you're looking at the stream, you'll be able to see where I'm at. I think that we might be this. I had to drop my mark first. I was in the middle of combat. Give me one sec. Alright, good to go. Okay, that's good. And it looks like Les W has joined the group. Welcome, Les W. So, uh, Donovan's 18? Oh, that's, that's good. So, I can't take him to the bar. Right? You can sneak, sneak, him, him sneak him in through the back. But you know, like they say, age is just a number. But it's always better to be younger rather than older. Yeah, they say that about your social security number, too. <laughs> yeah, that's true, too. And I hope there's not too many video uh, spell effects. If you guys in the audience feel there's too many spell effects going on, let me know. I can turn it down. Nene putting it down. Man, this place looks good. It looks like this is like Shars at Temple Part 2. And if we should move over there, Donovan, just let us know because it, we can move a little closer to where you're at over there. That's fine. I'm pulling. I, I can pull to this. Okay, because there, there might be a boss out there in the lower left-hand corner building. Man, these guys, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me check the chat. I don't know if the chat had lagged out. I'll check again. Nope, it's still there. You see any names on that list? Oh yeah, but what other name do we kill? I don't know yet. Chief uh, Danger Drum, Yeah, I'm looking it up. I can bring it up. I got uh, another computer I can check. Uh, I'll sit down and regenerate my endurance. There should be some guy in the lower left a building. Got us to steal no, I'm looking. I got it. I, I got it. Grona the grounds smasher is up. Yeah, that's one. She's on the uh, low, uh, over in the right hand side of the map, lower right. 
use a, a Gorda or something like that. We probably cleared her placeholder. Oh, this is good. Good time to rest up and uh, reset all these counters here on my buttons. Guys, now out of the expansions above House of Thule, do you think this is the best looking expansion? Because I'm just blown away by how this looks. It's really nice. I think this expansion was pretty good. Do I think it was the best? No, I think um, the Dark and Sea is the best one, but that's just me. Okay, that's great. I don't hate it. I but you you know is it the best one? No. Ooga, thanks, thanks, Les. Thanks for your opinion. That's great. Because honestly, if I'm gonna have to rate them, I'm gonna rate POP. It's probably the number one. Yeah, that's Prophecy for sure. of Roe. Then. Veils of Alaris, House of Thule, The Darkened Sea, Empires of Kunark. I don't know, though. Gates of Discord was just so awesome. A lot of people didn't like, like Gates of Discord. I like you. I think everybody likes Planes of Power, though. Because planes of power when they went to the new character models. Lukelin. Lukelin, okay, yeah. Now, Les, do you, what's your all-time favorite zone? I mean, do you have one that you really, really like that really stands out? That I like now to fight in or have liked my in the past my favorite ones? Like your favorite all-time in the past, you know, of all time, I would say. Is there any or maybe Plane top of fire. Three? Plane of Fire? Okay, that's good. Now, why Plane of Fire? Uh. It was the first one that I really took my ranger to and did headshotting with, and just it looks cool. The pathing is good. Um, memories more so than the actual mechanics of the zone. Yeah. Walls of slaughter for me. Okay, thanks, Playboy. Okay, now let's talk about expansions. What's your favorite expansion? would have to be Planes of Power. Okay. I, I actually tell you what, I think my favorite one is Runes of Kunar. Quite valuous a lot because of all the quests. Yeah, I, I think the reason why uh, for me Kunar I, I felt was the best expansion is because I, I get, when it came out I was there day one and I just remember at that time, you know, we had gone from classic and there was pretty much nothing in the game beside that and then you, you come out to Kunark and it was like wow and there were Ixars and everything so that's just me oh I'm up here somehow still up here oh there I got that But thanks, guys. Thanks for your input. Okay, and uh, War Potato in chat says, I really enjoyed Omens of War and Vexar. Okay, Vexar is his, one of his favorite zones, uh, Ryan's. Omens um, of War is a great expansion. What's that? Omens of War was a great expansion. Yeah. I like Legacy of Yakesha. I like that one too, a lot. I think it's because of Dulax Harbor and all that. I don't know why I, I just liked it, even though it was a real small expansion.
And so we got a lot of votes for Omens of War and all that. And Vexar's favorite zone. The reason why I ask is because I like when people recommend a zone and say, that's one of my favorite zones. Uh, last night, Donovan said this is one of his favorite zones. Not the favorite, but one of them. And I always like to see what everybody likes and what they see in it. Um, and I can see, as soon as I came here earlier today, I looked at it and I was like, dang, no kidding. This is a great place. In Vexar, yeah, that's, I've been there a couple times too, uh, Ryan. And Goddess TV, welcome to the channel. Vexar is a really cool zone. It has a little underwater to it. What do you, what's cool about Vexar? I've only been there about once or twice, I think. I think I did it on P99, so it was a long time ago. It used to be a pretty good experience, uh, especially experience? if you had uh, special abilities to slay undead and stuff. Ah, I see. Burning Crusade, Bob Slogan. Are you, you you're talking about World of Warcraft or EQ2 or something? I don't think we have a zone called Burning Crusade. That's World of Warcraft. Okay, he's a World of Warcraft. <clears throat> Welcome to EQ. We have World of Warcraft Bob Slogan joining us. Goddess TV has a big smile there. Yeah, you know, when it comes to newbie dungeons, um, I had asked Donovan last night, and he said what his favorite zone actually is um, Kern's Tower. And I gotta tell you. Ooh, that is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it is good. That That's like, it can't be beat. Out of newbie dungeons, that's gotta be the tops. But remember, that came around in Kunark. You know, that's the thing about it. Is, uh, you know, I remember that too. I was like, my God. But you forget about it. But once somebody mentions it, you're like, wow, that is something else. The state of unrest. State of unrest. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, my, that would be like a level 20s, 30s dungeon. That's a good one. My favorite level, like 20s to 40s dungeon is Mistmore by a mile. Oh, I love that. Miss Moore was fun, yeah. Yeah, that's just an incredible one. You know, of course, Lower Guck is good, but I, I never want to pick it because it's, it's been overplayed. Guck. Yeah, I think, you know, for me, it's it's just been too overplayed. And after you've been there too much, you're just like, oh. I think and, some of the best zones are zones like... Uh, Carnor's Castle, Elks, uh, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, Carnor's definitely. That was a great zone. If you like trains. Yeah, you I know, I did, a, I did a live stream on there, and that was when Steel Plate was playing Sociopath, and she let one of the hands get away, and there's like a 40 train, 40 uh, monster train, all oh, that was crazy. I grew up in Quainos and Blackboro and Quainos Hills. Oh, yeah, Blackboro. I think Blackboro. That, uh, that camp, the right courtyard, where you're trying to uh, camp the tea staff, settle the bazaar. And in the chat, Ryan says, Yeah, great for experience that level plus with Dire Charm did some work in that zone. All right. I'm talking about World of Warcraft EverQuest. Okay, Bob. And War Potato, I'll add another. It added another dimension to Lake Il Omen. That was a cool thing. Yeah, because it's below Lake Il Il Omen. That was the weirdest thing. I had no idea it was there. And then one day I was like, oh my gosh, it's there. Okay, we have a name. But yeah, I would say, I, I, you know, my, oh, look at this little guy. I didn't even see him. Oh boy, hear that smack a doodle do. Oh my, here we go. Gotta go monster on him. Go everything. And don't mind that guy. I just put the map up. Oh! I got a critical hit of 28, but I 
I have slain him. Oh my gosh, my first kill that night. <laughs> I pulled, I popped everything I had just so I could get that kill, guys. Did that guy drop anything? No, he didn't drop anything. Yeah, and guys, TV says it's very cool to discover a dungeon underneath there. I, I totally didn't even think there would be a dungeon there. And then people found out later when Kunark opened. Um, yeah, like I said, that when it when Kunark first opened, I had no idea there was a dungeon there. And there I was in Lake Oom and just killing stuff. And somebody said, you know, hey, there's something down there at the bottom <clears throat> of the lake. And I was like, huh? And it wasn't until much later that I went down there and then I checked it out and I was like, whoa, it was a dungeon surprise. That zone but... may have not came out until after, like, Keisha. Oh, really? It wasn't out at the... Oh, wow. Yeah, they didn't, uh, just put it up one day. It wasn't even part of the expansion. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Okay, so that's why I wasn't there then. Much later. Okay, a... guys, what is the worst? Talk about the worst dungeon in Classic, if you Like, if you were on Agnar, what would be the worst dungeon in your opinion? I always hated uh, Agnar. Down there. I always hated it. Oh, let's just start with, like, Classic, before before Kunark. I know Down there is really bad. I could never even find the darn place. That's Lone how bad Gug. it was. Oh, what's that? Lower Gug with all the trains. Yeah, yeah, lower guck. Oh boy. Well, okay. When you say it bad, are you talking aesthetics, or are you talking like physical fun factor, or hardness, or trains? Because I mean, there's there's different factors. I, I guess let me put it this way: one of my least favorite dungeons of um, classic EQ would be Befallen, and that's because there really wasn't any good loot there. It was, you had to, you know, it was a pain to get to and just a lot of things I didn't, I didn't like. The second worst would probably go to Kedge Keep just because in that dungeon, oh, there's so many ways to die there. Back in those days, you know, you had to have an enduring breath item. If not, if the bard fell asleep or winked it, went linked it, everybody died. <laughs> you know, just stuff like that. That was just a, you know, that's how I kind of look at it. Ryan Hightime said, the strip club in the guild hall was a great experience. I didn't know about that. There's a strip, a strip club in the guild hall? Wow. No. Oh, yeah. He knows I didn't know, but that would have been something. There's a... The individual player-made guild halls, probably. Oh, okay. But I did like Blackborough because just because of the those crazy nutty trains there. I and, and the thing that I liked about it was in the classic days there was only one instance of it. So, you know, I mean of course, you know Yeah, it'd be fifty people in there. Yeah, fifty people, but nowadays, you know, everything would be dead. Whoops. Oh, and, and Goddess TV says, which expansion added the mounts? Was that Lechlin? Yes. That was Lechlin. That was a good expansion. In fact, I had to run through that expansion to get here initially. Brought back memories of the deadest zone ever, Mons Letalis. Did anybody ever yep. go to that zone? Oh, yeah. Like, I stayed there maybe a week or so. 
Really? That that's amazing. I think I, I, I every time I went by there, I never saw anybody. When you're doing Vexthal shard farming. Yeah, that's all the reason you go there is for the shard. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Luckily, I, I liked uh, Umbral Plains with uh, Doom Shade and Rumble Crush out there. I just liked the fact that there was this big elemental called Rumble Crush. I really enjoyed. If you're it. a trade schooler, you like zones like. Uh... Australia's Caverns, Tenebrous Mountains, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, the, the uh, Tenebrous Mountains, that was something. I spent Gotta go a get your relic back. I spent a lot of time in Nag Slayer. That's kind of a good style. I'm gonna go over there and kill the, uh, the mob that has 100 curtains by the throat. It's great to hear your guys' uh, stories and, and memories of it. You know, bring back memories. Got a lot of faith in you, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they got two of us. Yeah. I keep worrying about the druids. You keep getting, keep getting aggro. I wonder yeah. why that is. <laughs> Is it did did they do something in EOK or the broken mirror with the with the dog? I know they did something cleric which you did. They increased the dot damage and mana cost of druid dots, but they also made them not stack. So you can't take the current dot and then the, the previous dot, they don't stack anymore. So, eh. They did that to shamans too, didn't they? Shamans, druids, and then the ranger line that druids share. They didn't look at the necro dots at all or anything? I haven't logged mine in to find out. What they've done is they consolidated it, so I think it's the stack and they just get more damage. Time to do an experience check. I am at 55%. Wow. 46%. Dang. And so you're level 95 or 96, Pharaoh? 96. 96? Yes, sir. All right. Then you'll be catching up soon. That's You're within range. That's good to know. Now, if we go to the upper part of the map, to the, if we work our way up there, there's a whole bunch of named up there. But uh, whenever you guys are ready. That's, yeah, that's fine. We can um, if y'all want to, we can swing by the the gladiator gladiator arena and kill the placeholder. Okay, that sounds like a good job. And we'll see when that big boss comes up. We'll see if we take her down. Are we anywhere near the uh, scorpion still? Oh yeah, yeah, scorpion time. Yeah, they they they've spawned right here, but there's only there's only two that I see. Oh, okay. We'll be back, just like Arnold says. We'll be back. There's some on track, but I think they're kind of far away. Pretty sure Arnold Schwarzenegger at no point in any movie said, We'll be back. Or he said, She'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah. And he became the governor of California. That was an amazing thing. California. Don't know how he did it. Alright. Y'all wanna move up now? Or... Okay. Yeah, we'll I... follow you. Right. We we can kill our way to the arena. I like that idea.
Pharaoh getting kills. Oh my gosh, doing some crazy damage. He went down, no problem. A will bender. I really like this battle leap because it gets you into combat just like right on top of the, the person and you don't have to run over there or anything. Just pop that and it places you right on top and it also gives you a 35% boost in melee damage. Let me bring this down. Oh, we have a bard with us. We have so many songs going. Wow. See, like that is just so nice. I used to play this game called Grim Dawn, and they had a character that did the same thing. You could get in combat just by clicking a button. It it teleport you right there. Is battle leap. What if you're not facing the NPC? Uh, it'll just uh, make you go backwards, but then uh, you'll you'll still end up there, and then you just have to reposition yourself as you're flying through the air. Hmm. So, like, I'll do it right now. And it'll go just like that. So if you're real quick while you're in the air, you can reposition yourself to be land right behind them. Ooh, task stage complete. What did I just complete? Uh, Killing guards? Yeah, that's Probably have no fear. Yeah, that that's it, I think. Yeah, I have no fear. That was it. Okay, here's I'm gonna I'm battle leap all the way over there. Sweet. Oh, the leaping plunge, Serratus. What it does is it. Uh, it gives you a 35% boost. It's actually this feature right here called, uh, no, that's not that one. It's this one here called Battle Leap. Uh, increases your melee by 35%. <clears throat> and what's really good about it is it gets you into combat really quick. So if I'm over here, I could go like this. I could just sit down and when the battle starts, I can just target the mob, hit Battle Leap. It'll bring me right to them. So it, it's it's pretty cool. There's so many cool little uh, things that you can do with the Berserker and I want to get the, some of the AAs because as you can see right here, I mean if you guys know how to play Berserker really well, let me know. Like I can increase decapitation. I think that's a one shot kill. Look at these. I have like deadly aim and you know all these that you can really really improve. You just need tons of AAs and I only have three. <laughs> Okay, worthy contender. Okay. Just just wait till you hit 105 and have to do the Empire of the Art AAs. And your um focus tab is AAs that cost 100 AA points. It's crazy. Yep. Oh, Bloodthirsty Taiga. Arena Champions badge was fun in its day. Oh yeah? It's a quest arena in the uh, updated Freeport and uh, it was literally waves and waves of mobs that you had to uh, kill that progressively got harder. I think it was like 40, 30, 30 waves maybe? Oh yeah, I've heard of that actually. That sounds cool.
kind of like uh, the main horn for the uh, ring of name frostrider. I mean, I don't know, but the the Dane Frost Reaver Ogs, you mean? No, I know about like old school stuff. Like when you had the Shaw Walt, then you had the Reborn. No, I mean, literally, you're standing in an arena that looks eh, kind of like this, and a wave mo of mob spawn. You have to kill them. And then if you're done, you're cool, okay. Then you kill the next wave, and then the next wave, and then it's literally just progressive of, you know, one, two, three mobs that that come wave after wave. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it's geared towards level seventy, so or seventy-five, so it's probably really, really easy at level hundred. So, but it was really hard in the day, and it gave you a pretty decent aug, or er, charm. That's good to know. Look at all these patrons up here, <clears throat> arena patrons watching us. This reminds me of the Kale Drackle uh, arena, and I'd go up there and kill all the patrons. Be right back. Okay, we'll wait here. Spectator. I wonder if we can pull all of them down to here. You may be able to. Unless W's trying to get up there. That's <laughs> kind of cool. I see him over there. I bet I'm you gonna get I, this eventually. I, I, if I use my battle leap, I'll, I'll probably end up there, but then I'll be deader, deader so fast. They'll kill me so quick up there. Unless I come back down here. Nope, don't think I can. Then that'll bring me. Are you trying to pull the spectators? You guys want me to try to battle leap up there? And come back down and aggro all of them? Y'all get all of them. I'm back. I can try that. I'm back. Okay, let me target this guy. Let's see if I can pop up there. I can't. It won't let me pop up there. Is there a way to get up there? Probably there is, huh? Oh, you could send a pet on it and then pull the pet back. All right, I'm going to summon my pet real quick. Ooh, I see more of them. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Whoa, here they come. Nice job. Yeah, just uh, run up on the pillar and you can target them up there and get them. Even the patrons aren't safe from us. Are you guys on the test server, Goddess TV? We are. That's where we play. At, that's my home. Oh, cool. Killed some patrons. I forgot all about me having a... Oh, look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wow, look at this, guys. Yeah, when I go super berserk, I go into blind mode like this. So that's what you're seeing. It goes blind. That's what I like about the berserker.
That blind mode sure does look awesome on the uh, live stream. Yeah, doesn't it? It's kind of cool, huh? Not really. It, it also <laughs> map, it goes blind, but you got to use the map to line up. In real life, it's it's uh, it's not good, but you know I, I like it when it just goes blank for a minute, and then it's like you hit super hard when that happens. And when it goes blind means I'm hitting really hard. Oh, there he is. And this berserker just gets more and more fun every time. Yeah, crazy blind. Isn't that cool? I mean, you go blind. There's another one that I don't want to use. It actually puts like a, a, a dot on you, but you actually even go even more berserk and do more damage, but it puts a dot on you, which is kind of bad. It does significant damage. So that's there's even other ones that are so good. Uh, the berserker is just so good when it comes to damage. How do I bring up the fellowship window again? Uh, control left shift F. Just let him beat on the cleric, it'll be okay. Oh, you really? Oh, there you're okay. Paper tank. You're a battle You're a paper, player. Paper tank and plate. Okay, yeah, the fellowship is good if you need to bring people in and stuff. I love using fellowships and campfire. And... I see you're going to put a campfire down here so we can come back later, huh? Yes, and War Potato, you are on it. Now, War Potato, you have a, a, a Berserker I saw last night. Take a look at my buttons I have here. What do you do as your layout? What do you do for your buttons? Um, and what do you, you like to use? Because, you know, this is the first time I've gotten up here. I'm level 100, but I'd like to know what other guys uh, do. And, you know, you can see I, I start from here and I go work my way down here to about here. Then I take some of these if I need to. Battle Leap I do all the time nowadays. But any advice you want to give me, I'd, I'd, I'm all ears, because I, I don't know any other Berserkers. These guys are tough here. A docile slave. How did you get out there? After this, after this, um, I might have to run the guild lobby real quick, but I can't fire right back here and that time. Okay, sounds good. Keep going, I guess, and we'll, you'll catch. Well, we'll wait around for you then. You'll be back real quick, right? Yeah, it'll take maybe three minutes, maybe. Okay, then we'll just wait here. But if the boss comes, we'll scream for you. Help! Alright. It shouldn't take maybe three minutes. All I gotta do is load in the lobby and do it like that. Right okay, we're gonna wait right here then. Okay, give you a view of the, the thing here. 
Okay, guys. Yeah, so here we are, and we're in the temple. I mean, the gladiator arena where uh, Donovan's going to be right back. And then after that, we're going to head uh, to the upper left. And we're going to head around. We're going to look at how big this place is. My gosh. And uh, there's a lot of named up there, guys. And these names, they're not like these soft pushover names that we've been fighting. They're the name name ones. And if you look on EQ Resources, you'll see just how hard they are. For example, we'll have uh, an upper area. There is somebody called, in the far upper left, Sword Master Carla. One of the tougher ones I read about was uh, Sylvie the Mistress. She's straight up ahead, to the top of the map. And over on the left, by the green box, there's somebody called a Huge Mistake. Over on the right, by where uh, my map where it says Layers Visible Base, there's somebody called Gora the Gourd Smasher. She's probably the easier of the, the three. And at the uh, very middle top, there's somebody called a Possessed Farseer. So, guys, get ready, because it's going to get exciting. I can't wait to see how we do these. Some of these mobs are pretty tough. You okay, Les W? Yes. Wonder how long it took him to design this place. You, know, you look at it and it's like, wow. All right, I'm zoning back in right now. All right, sounds good. Got you a cleaver. 66% to level 100, just keeps on flying. It's always good when you have a good group like this. Yeah. What percent are you at now? Uh, I'm at 66% into level 100. Cool. Yeah, um, Shanana, she dinged 101 earlier at the beta. Wow, that's great. Yeah, experience is flying fast. And Goddess TV says, maybe I'll copy my character to the test server once I get a high, higher level so I can play with you guys. Well, you know, Goddess TV, we, you know, sooner or later I'm going to do some of the uh, stuff that's around level 70s, 80s, around that. Uh, I want to get to 105 first, and then um, I'll probably go back and do that. Because before this, I was doing skipping around doing 85 and then doing level 50 stuff and all that. And that was good, but... Um, I just got to a point where I was like, yeah, I got to get to level 105. And I wanted to do all the heroic adventures. But, you know, it looks like I'll be there pretty quick. And once I hit 105, it's time to go back and do some of the other stuff. And still do the level 105 stuff, too. And uh, War Potato says, you're missing the Frenzy, your 11-timer attack. The Frenzy, it's number two here. 9, 10, 11, Untamed Rage. Too bad he died. Not to my jump, though. Um, so I have a Frenzy right here, and I have a Vanquishing Frenzy also. Is that the one, like, am I doing the order right? Also, I got a question for uh, War Potato. Under AAs. Let's go into the class AAs. Let's take a look at this real quick. I got a question for you. My decapitation is five and nine. What is the best one to put your points into first? Where would you put them in? You know, there's still, look at this, so many untamed rage and all that that, that are good, obviously. Um, you know, well, that's a level 105 one, but it, say at my level. But I do see decapitation. I can up that. Uh, you have all these uh, binding axes. I use this a lot, too. You want to work on anything that brings your sustained first okay the burn stuff later. okay gotcha but decapitation is really good yeah i've I, I, you know, help you on XP grind. a couple times that's gone off and it's like whoa well see it's like headshot and assassinate yeah, and works on humanoid. yeah yeah it's just like that and bob's saying hey guys i'm back was helping grandma oh you're lucky you got some good cookies Mmm, making me think about food now. Cookies. Okay, so when we're all ready, I guess we'll head uh, back out and go to the north. 
Um, okay, I guess I this guess way. We're all heading, um, yeah, head up. up the map. Is, trying to figure out how to get to him. How'd you get up there? Oh shit, Lance. I went around. Where'd you go to go up there, um, Liz? Go outside and to the north, and there's a big ass bridge that you can cross over. Come on, Shanene, you got them. Oh my gosh, that was a smack. And uh, guys, we got a little trouble down here. Where are are you? Are y'all feeling the. All the way to shoot. Oh my gosh. Uh, what are we gonna do? Um, I'm gonna heal the warrior. I'm coming, dude. Oh, I think I'm gonna bite the dust here. We're good. Okay, good. No, do not open that door right now. Yeah, do not open that door. It's like, what? So you guys want to go back up top, or you guys want to fight in the basement? Well, um, I was thinking if we go to the top part of the map, uh, clear out, we can start either left, upper left, or right, and then go for the name, guys. Okay, this is nothing in here, I guess. Some guards there too. Okay, invisible. Oh yeah. Okay, we're back out here. Let me scroll out in the map. I guess we go. Is that a door there or a cloth? Oh, we go up again. Ah. So do we go up this ramp? Is that how you do it? I think so, huh? I did, yeah. Okay, so we go up the ramp that I'm facing to get to the upper section. Oh, I guess there's two sides, but yeah, they both lead to the same area. Okay. Oh, I guess you're going that side. Okay, we'll go that way then. Oh, I didn't realize there was two, but yeah, there are clearly two. Incredible zone, guys. Just totally incredible, I gotta tell you. Just look at this place. Wow. Amazing. Almost almost reminds me of Cesara Temple. <laughs> now, if you want to get to the left side over here, because um, the, 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 the really name goes that up, way. 
Oh, 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 we can't? Oh, because... Unless you go oh, yeah. over the wall. Oh, 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 I see. I thought there's a way to go through. Let me check. Well, you just go around to the end. Just go to the end and then come back around. Because you can do it, but you got to have Levin fly it up and then fly out, out and around. But just... It's right over here. There's supposed to be a name guy somewhere in here. Where I am, I'm over by this. Yeah, I, I tab that real quick. I'm looking. I'm looking at the um the names in in here real quick. Yeah, it's on uh, number one. The name that's supposed to be over here is a huge mistake. Although if I open that door, it's probably a huge mistake on my part. There's a mission dude up here on the left. I'm gonna see what he's got. Ooh, the mistake is here. It's a goo. I see it. So, um, this just got ugly. What what happened? Laboratory assistant. Okay, I don't know what the placeholder is. Let me check. It's probably where I am over here. There's a, a placeholder guy. I'm coming over there. Okay, you guys are over there. There's a task from the lady that I'm at right here. Uh, not a not so noble deed. Okay. Pharaoh's got aggro. Uh oh. Bait him, Pharaoh. They're immune to spite him. Okay, let me drop my invisible and get this task here. Okay, she said Gorilla with the mist. And this one is uh, kill a bunch of these guys, the usual. In that name built a huge mistake. Yeah, that, that, that area. I just saw a bunch of goos there. I didn't see him, but there may be a placeholder for him, actually. But that's all right. I mean, as we go through, Follow me. if we clear out the areas they're in, we'll be all good. Okay, waiting for Donovan here and Lady Shanene. Let's wait up for everybody. Anything that would cause your number of attacks to increase ferocity then flurry. Decap is a must. As soon as you'll hit level one, get your dichotic, dichotic rage. I will do that. Thanks, uh, War Potato. Okay, do we are we missing anybody back there? I think we're missing uh, somebody. Let's wait for everybody. Donovan, we're up here. We're close to the next named area. Thanks, War Potato Ferocity and Fear Flurry. Okay, let me see here. Ah, there it is. My ferocity is maxed out. My flurry is almost maxed out too, uh, War Potato. And then uh, decap. Yeah, I want to max out decapitation. Yeah, almost at 101. 70% there.
Oh, another quest giver. Okay, let me drop my inviso. Rebuffing while you're all here. Thanks. Okay, not so noble deed. And what would this be? Stealing okay. something? I don't Ooh. know. But we gotta confront somebody about a scheme. That means kill first, ask questions later. Who raised you? Uh, it's just what these games are about. Kill first, ask questions later. I thought you were supposed to hail him first, then if he attacks you, then you attack Oh him. yeah, yeah, that hail first, and then, then kill him right after that. At least that way you can be justified in your murder. Yeah. And War Potato, where is that uh, Dicomod, Dicom, or whatever that rage? I can barely see it. Is it Dicomic here? rage. It's yeah. Right. You have to go to uh, Penetrant Goldy. Oh. And you get it from that uh, one of those guys in that room. Oh. oh. I get it. Yeah, um, the Ditcho ability. Ah. Oh. Heroic click in our eye, huh? Only goes on the wrist. Okay, I'm in the room here with, uh, with the, oh, this is this their version of the strip club, I guess. Named up top, come up the ramp. Okay, Doki, up the ramp. I guess, uh, where am I back out? Let me see, where is he? Oh, he's still, he's still in there. Oh, he's less is still in the room. Okay, so let's go back in the room. No, no, no. In the room you were at, just go up the ramp. There's a, yeah. I don't know. There's a ramp in that room somewhere. Let me come back down and see where it's at. Yeah, I don't see the ramp. Right, right when you come in the door, take a look. Oh, oh a right. skinny door here. Skinny hallway. Do we all have to hail the um the bunch noble? Noble, yeah. I'm in visa. I guess I should well uh... Les doesn't have his invis up, so it means I could probably drop mine. Are y'all getting the Oh yeah, hail him and you get a task complete? And then uh, tell Tai uh, Tai. <laughs> Let's hop down again. So there's a note in here somewhere, huh? Boy, I gotta have that inviso up. Okay, now I hailed her, and it said, "Steal the incriminating note from a from the building nearby." Uh, she wants to investigate the building directly to the east. Some of the noble thugs hang out on the ground floor. Go there and look for the incriminating evidence. So directly to the east, that would be the direction I'm facing. Oh, wrong way. That's west. So it's this way here. So. Yeah, the SK is in the building. 
What's the what's the um the mob's name again? Is this guy scowling at me ready to attack here? The tranquil mediator. Oh, oh, uh oh, there we go. Oh, I see. We're in here. Got it. Okay, make sure everybody's in here. Uh, uh, I don't know where y'all are at. Okay, <laughs> take your time. We're, we better wait for our, our healer, otherwise. I got it. I got you. Okay, and we have this guy here. And, uh, uh, Warpedia says, uh, Daiko will be your favorite attack. By the way, you won't get the Zerker back from SWMBO. All right, next person, loot the note on the table there, and then we'll kill the note thing again. Unless you guys all got your task update. Okay, I picked up a note. No, I think... Your tasks have not updated yet? Okay. All right, well, we just do it a whole bunch here. The respawn was pretty quick. This is like a power leveling center then. Not really. But I like where your head's at on that. All right, next up on deck. Whoever's next, pick up the note. And I'll wait for the things to spawn. Oh, we got two. She who must be obeyed. Okay. I'll find out what that means. She who must be obeyed. That would be your girlfriend or your wife. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Look at these guys. They keep popping out here. Okay, whoever's got to pick up that note, go ahead. Seventy-one percent. They do spawn fast, oh boy. Who else needs a note? Yeah, who else needs a note? I'm good. I don't. I got mine. I got mine. Okay, step away from the thing, I guess. Okay, if you got your note, come up with me on this platform here, just so we can all know. Okay, those with the note stand on the platform, got it. Then I expect we are all done. Okay. Let's go turn it in. Give the crim incriminating note to guard captain. Or is that it? Yeah, good question. Where is it? Uh, guard captain near the fountain and monument to the south. All right, cool. So, 
Please tell me we don't have to go all the way to the bottom of the map again. No. Should be fountain near the center. All right, everybody, right here, hand it in. Okay, one moment. And I think I might have to take my leave here. Oh, well, it's been good having you, Playboy. It always is. Where the heck did my note go? I know I picked it up. Actually, we're almost done with this task if you wanted to give it five minutes and then finish this here. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just kill the noble and help the mob. Yep. So once you turn in your note, come over to me. Wait, I'm trying to find my note. I know I picked it up. Unless you meant to pick it up and someone else picked it up and it looked like you picked it up. Because my thing says give the incriminating evidence to this guy. So that means I do have it. I'm looking through my junk here. Huh? Oh, gosh. Where is it? Open all your bags quick. I'll find it. Yeah. Okay. So that's one bag one. Bag two. Looks like a scroll. A, oh, a scroll. A scroll. I, I, I think I know where that is. There it is. Got it. Okay, wait a second. Let me give it to this guy here. I like that. Open all your bags. I'll find it. Yeah, empty your pockets. <laughs> well, I'm watching the live stream too. I can be like, well, you know, just open <laughs> okay, them all. Okay, gave it to him. It's like, oh, it's in that bag. So now, uh, tell the noble he's in big trouble. Okay, so I. I I need an inviso, I guess. Where'd you guys go? Nah, just come run over here to us. You're good. Hey, stop. Turn around. Turn around. There you go. Too far. Okay, got it. Now I'm back here. Okay, so... Oh, did we're killing the noble? Yeah, did everybody get the task update? Yeah, I got it. I didn't get to talk to Noble yet. That's okay. I guess he'll respawn. You didn't get the task. So Just tell him while you're to... hitting him. Everybody, come up and hail him. Hurry up and hail. Quit attacking. Oh God, I'm in. I'm in. In, in viso mode. Gosh. Everybody, I've got. Okay, I've got the hail. Him. Anybody else? Yeah, I've got it. Ouch. Oh gosh. I'm down at the bottom getting paid out. You in the building? Yeah. Okay, somebody help him out. Well, bring him on up. Well, my problem is I don't know where bring him on up is. I am navigationally challenged down here. Okay, this way. <laughs> Shoot, Blade Boy's down here. Come down to me, guys. Uh, Matriarch is on. Oh, 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 I'm gonna get killed. Oh. Nah, you're not gonna die. Dude, with a druid and a cleric in the group, if you die. You die. We're in trouble. We did not do our job. I don't suck that much. Come on now. Okay, it's just I, my AC is just about the same as my enchanter, which is a bad thing. Yeah, it'd be alright. We're both spamming. Did, ever, did everybody get the task update for that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Calm matriarch, oh boy. Okay, is the Zerker DPS or tank? Just DPS, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm more likely to get. And to give you an idea, Philip. My AC is about the same as my enchanter, <laughs> that's the thing. That's what's scary about it. You have to attack from uh, the back, otherwise you're dead. Show you here, my AC looks only 1945. 
Okay, Blade Boy has survived. Tell Ty it's over. Okay, so we go out now. Oh, it says four AA points in experience. Two percent. Oh my gosh, that's like five minutes out here. Nice. Okay, I got it. I know you gotta get going, Blay Boy. Yep, yeah, more redo buff. Okay, thanks. And if you're just joining us, we are in Chelsea, uh Chelsea Reborn. This has been a great run. We still got a lot more to do, so stick around. We're going to clear out and look for some named here. I've gotten some crazy experience. I think I came in at like 12% or something. I'm at 73. Just going flying by really fast. We have a full group. Uh, Blayboy has to leave, so what we will do is we should bring up a healer Merc or something. So whoever wants to do that. Thanks, Blayboy. Thanks for joining us tonight. No problem, have fun. Okay, will do. Savior of Chelseth Reborn. All right. Let's see what that is all about. So that's what you end up getting at the end of this. Oh, 20 AAs. <laughs> Let's see how my AAs are doing. I got seven AAs. Oh, I got a lot of points to put away. Got to farm some AAs in the future for this character. Enchanter doesn't need that many AAs compared to this character. I'm looking at the names right now and see what they drop. The um, the huge mistake he drops the. He drops a pretty good shield for uh, caster classes. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. And look at the artwork on the wall here in the stream. It's beautiful. Yeah, so you can see if you look, are you looking at EQ resource, Donovan? I'm using Alakazam right now. Okay, on EQ Resource, there's a really nice map, and it, it shows it. I like EQ Resource because it seems faster. Like, I used to use Alakazam because it's got, you know, users will come in and give info, but the one thing I didn't like about it is it's always, like, like uh, these scripts that wouldn't run. It always crash on me. Yeah, I usually use EQ Resource, but I forget, I forget that. Because I'm so used to using Alakazam. Yeah, I know. We grew up on Alakazam. So who's going to bring up the healer Merc then? Someone needs to drop from the group first. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Blayboy's in there. Otherwise, somebody will have to... Um, Donovan, if you could drop Blayboy. Yeah, I'm tapping back in. I can. I've got one. Okay, let's get the highest person. Okay, so highest person. Oh, that's a, a tank Merc there. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, you you guys okay with that? Should we run a, a healer merc instead, or is a tank merc? You okay with that? We got a choice. Okay, so uh, we can go kill the swordmaster. Yeah, that's swordmaster Carla. Yeah, let's he run through him. all of this and uh, let's see what we can get. At least get the names so we got them. Yeah, These notes. Him. All right. Raid loot is a good... Uh, I know it has current expansion stuff, not about older stuff. Yeah, I, I, I like that site too. Uh, D's Note 107. And welcome to the channel, D's Notes. Yeah, we can go farm Swordmaster Carla. She drops a, she drops a pretty good two-hander. Yeah, let's just run through and kill them all. I'm I'm game for all that. Even if they they don't drop some good stuff because some of them are are kind of tough if you read about them. Okay, so I guess Les is going to be the healer then. Bloodborne fighter, that is a 
named up top here if you guys want to join me. Okay, let's wait for everybody to get together. Follow me. Oh yeah, this this lady. Watch out, guys. There's something about her. How she stings? Yeah, yeah. This this lady's this lady is tough. Be careful. She silences. That's no fun. Yeah. And then she'll, I think maybe this is the one where it gets resistance to, to melee and all that. I'm and going all out. Um, at the door, he, like every 20% he, he resists to... Yeah, the dwarf guy, he'll go into resistance mode every 20%. Alright, we got her. Nice. Okay, she dropped a gilded belt knife. And this is for, I guess, anybody. Or it was a range slot item. Now, it'd be nice if it added damage to it. Oh, wow. Uh, and... and it dropped a level 97 spell. Yeah, look at this. This item is good for clerics, druid, and wizards, and mages. Oh, and we just lost our cleric. Druids. All right. Uh, well, you know, it's a druid item, too. It's all all. It's yeah. all all. That's true. At the bottom it says this is most beneficial to clerics, druid, wizards, Attack and mages. Now. So I'm using that currently, so I'll go ahead and keep using that. Okay. Uh, who else needs it? Anybody else need it? Okay, I'll just roll for it. I don't know if I need it or anything. Uh, yeah. yeah, good for a caster. It's going to get rolled on momentarily. Need or greed, guys. Okay, I put greed on it. I put need, so it'll get back out. Oh, good. You got a dread moat. Very nice. Okay, let's come on in here and kill these two placeholders. Follow me. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. The sound is so good. Okay, where's the other groom slave? Where'd that go? Okay, let's stick together. Uh, otherwise, I don't get you guys in the stream. Trust me, I don't go very far. Okay. I'm probably just around the corner if I'm fighting with you guys. Okay. Uh, All right, heading back down. Okay. I can just jump off the, the ledge here if you want. Maybe we'll see if everybody joins. All the cool kids are doing it. Okay, we're back. So, Donovan, are we going to head to, should we head up to the, uh, go to the left, lower left side? Oh, actually, we actually went there where the huge mistake is, or we're going to go to the upper left side, like, uh, we, we can go to the upper left side and can't attack now. Can't two names. Okay, let's go to the upper left side of the map. So we'll go okay. west. That would be this way. And then we go this way. I'll wait up for you guys. Yeah. 
He sold Master Carla and a successful mistake. Miss we Miss Wielder. Yeah, she's I'm heading over to successful uh Miss Wielder, her area. So I'll wait here for you guys. All the way at the end. Oh, we got some aggro. Somebody's on you, Donovan. Somebody's blood on fire stuff. Here we go. All right, nice job. Uh, let's see here. And I guess the named lady is not up. Supposed to be right around here somewhere in this building where the Shizar defenders are. <laughs> wow, this guard is quite close to me and he hasn't aggroed yet. It's a cool, like a teleportal thing. So I think it's in that room that the lady may spawn. I'm going to check real quick with these two names if they're over here. Okay, uh, I see number 10, which is Swordmaster Carla. Okay, uh, I'll wait right here. Uh, and would you all like another bard? Um, these notes, uh, let me see here. Um, guys, can we use it? Would you like to add in a bard? I mean, we have one already, but uh, I, I assume he's 105. Hang well, on, my, op my opinion is I'm always up for real people, so. Okay, D's Notes. Oh, yeah. uh, come on in, D's Notes. Uh, you know where we're at. If you know how to get here, come on over. Okay, I'm out here. I'm I'm with Shanene. Uh, I'll wait out here with Pharaoh and Shanene. Okay, well, come on, D's Notes. The door is open. You know how to get here, and uh, you've got Invisa. Just boogie on over real quick. <laughs> An experiment in flame and sword tester. Okay. You guys want to pull him out here, or do you want uh, um, us to come to you? Well, I'm after killing these. the placeholder quick. Mm, let's say after these. Oh, shoot. Go. They can come over there and kill them places. Les is gonna get nailed. Come on, Les. Excuse me? Les is gonna what? Look like you're getting killed over there. And you're our healer. I'm coming around. Oh, here we go. Finally. OK, 
Okay. Uh, NPC over here for a quest. I'm going to see what he does. Clax. Cal. Kill some flame golems. That's an easy one. Hold on. Let me go ahead and. I'm going to drop my Invizo here. Okay, kill flame golems. Alrighty, well, incoming then. Okay. Well, I guess we'll set up right here. Yeah, come on, D's notes. Come on over. You know where to find us. I'll keep the map up for you. I'll just wait out here. Uh, bring him into the camera view if you want to be on the camera. Meanwhile, back at the campsite here, Pharaoh is a cool looking Drake. Shanene is a cool looking, looks like a frog lock with a nice suit of armor. And Donovan's got a cool sword, very cool sword. And the other two people out there, I guess it's Les is on his own out there. Well, we lost him, I guess. Just wait out here, wait for him. He's, he's gonna bring it out here, I guess. Can you bring them all loose? Yeah, bring Attack them all. now! I'm ready to train. Now, D's notes, if you do come in, uh, try to get into Discord channel, and there's a link to it on my About page. That way, if you get into the voice channel, you'll be able to hear what we're saying. There won't be a, a delay or anything. Flame down, going down. Okay. Incoming res for Pharaoh. Uh oh, how'd Pharaoh get killed? He ran out of hit points. No, I mean, did nobody heal him? Or did he. What happened? <laughs> yeah, he had like six on him, and then my songs were still up. Oh, man. On my man, screen, it was song. more like. Pharaoh is 100%. He is at 90, weight zero. Oh, dang oh, it. Oh, man. Oh, be careful, Pharaoh. It's okay. It's a bard's life. Trained for life. While we're sitting here, I'm a, I'm gonna read both for you. Okay.
Let me see who's in the zone. Uh, Shanene. I guess we don't have these notes yet. That's a horrible, horribly sounding name if you missed it just by a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, there he goes. Uh, D E E Z N O T E S. Okay, we got a Shizar guard here. Attack now! I have my buff set up right now. Okay, D's notes is on the way. Upper left hand corner of the zone, D's notes. Be safe. Right next to the Catholic Ice Blood course giver. Yeah, you'll see. I left the map up so he can see where we're at. Okay, I've added him in the friends list. He's in the guild lobby right now. Attack now! So we just keep on fighting and uh, he'll catch up with us then. Okay, let's see. Just need three more golem. Attack now! Oh, this guy's taking his time. Was quick. What's up, everybody? Hello. Hey. And is that these notes? Hey, it is. Hey, these notes. Welcome, man. Thanks for joining us. So is the quickest way to get there through the chapter house of the fallen? If you are tuned with the portals, then that is the way to go there. Then you'd go to Shard's Landing and take the portal there. Are you attuned uh, for the portals there? I'm not entirely sure. We'll okay, you probably aren't then. In that case, it's a long ride out here. Um, a very long one. Yeah, and who is that? Hey, hi. I can meet him somewhere in Port of Bind if you want. Is that Les's wife? Nope. No, it's Shanene. <laughs> oh, hello, Shanene. I can, uh, my, my druid's still in the soul. I can find the common lands if you want to port there. Well, let me bind right here, so I'm going to go ahead and drop my work, get him in the group. Where am I porting to to pick you up? I'll be at the druid uh, <laughs> stones in the common lands. Right. Phil Philip Miller, the drops are about level 100 in this uh, zone. They're appropriate level, I'd say. And thanks for picking them up, Les. It's always good to have uh, somebody pick them up. Yeah. And there goes the magic carpet. All right, Shanene got the voice working. That sounds good. Yeah, finally got it working. Yeah, that's great. It's uh, I, I like using this Discord because the thing that's good about it is people can all talk at the same time versus uh, when I was using I the EQ voice, 
they had to take turns and stuff. Yeah, it's awful. And then the thing is, is the EQ voice, it required their voice server. So when they had lag, then you didn't get any voice or anything. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. I like yeah, Discord better. I used it for Heroes of the Storm, but I don't like that game either. <laughs> now, what is Heroes of the Storm? Oh, it's... <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. It's basically you try to protect the castle or, like, take over theirs. It's, it's okay if you're into those games. I'm just... It's not for me. Okay. okay. Kind of like a... Um... Uh, not like an EverQuest kind of game, right? Oh, no, no. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so Philip Miller says, so you're not killing things eight level higher than the drops. No, it's all level appropriate stuff. We're getting to the end game content, Philip, so... The some of the items would be good. For example, something dropped earlier tonight just after the cleric left. Would have been nice for the cleric. And Les, who's level 105, is still using it at this moment. So that gives you an idea how good the item was. What? You said you're using that item that, remember, we got from the other name? No, I linked that and said I'm using that. Oh, okay. But you didn't. Oh, Shattered Blade. Okay, but that other guy was good. Uh, what's that again? I was asking if that was one of the rare. Yes. I have currently equipped with a. Every slot has an EOK rare in it. Wow. You, you, te you test copied everything? No, I got them all. Dude, I've test copied back when I was level 75. Okay. Nice to know. All of this stuff I got in actual raids here in Primal Brood. Yeah, I am not a test copy, although I am better than some test copies. You're better than my test copy. <laughs> you you raided on, on the test server? Yeah, Primal Brood raids every Saturday. We're raiding uh, TBM right now. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, is, oh, do we have raids? Tomorrow? Raids tomorrow night. Oh, cool. What time? Um... Raids are... I'm trying to figure out what the time zone difference is. It's uh, 5 California time. So 7 central. Alright. Oh, look, there's D's notes. He's here. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I want to show you something. D's notes looks just like Nerdist. I have that same illusion. I was like, what am I doing here? I've been trying to collect a bunch of them. These notes, did you, you did you test copy over here? Yeah. On yeah, what server? Uh, Zegany. Oh, there's fighting here. I didn't even notice. I was like, where'd these notes go? Okay, these notes hitting them good. Yeah, I, the thing I like about that the Goat Boy one is that it, when you run around, it has that clip clop, clip clop, clip clop sound. <laughs> you can hear the hooves go. Okay, guys, so these notes is here. We'll wait till the buffing is done, and I guess we will uh, head over, head east, that means to the right of the map, and along that way, that we should find, hopefully, Swordmaster Carla. Uh, we got Sylvie, the mistress, and then a possessed Farseer, and if we go down to the lower right, we'll have Gore the Gourd Smasher.
Yeah, I was checking track. Uh, Gora is up. Okay. Why don't we head across the top part of the map, kill everything over there, and then we'll head up to the lower right hand side of the screen where of the map where uh, Gorda is. And then as we go over there, we'll be able to kill all the uh, uh, you know the placeholders and whatnot. I figured we'd just finish this one first, so that's why I pulled the last one. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, no problem. How far away is Gore from here? I can probably single pull it out here. Well, no, it's all the way in the... If you look at the map that I have on the uh, stream, let me scroll out. It is in the total... You know, like, not not below the, uh, the, the Gladiator, but on the level that we're on, the lower right of the level, there's a uh, building all the way on the right-hand side, uh, southeast bottom. And uh, I'm actually looking at EQ Resource where she's at. She's yeah. one of the easier ones. Okay, does anyone else need a flame golem before we move out of here? I think I got my flame golem. Oh, I gotta talk to this guy. Hold on. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, I got my point two percent. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> that that's like uh one mob we kill gives point two percent. You can kill... Yeah, but you do realize that doing the quest is not for the experience, right? I know, but I'm just saying, like, you, you, you kill one, it's worth, you do all that and it's worth one, one, uh, one mob. I know, you, you do it so that you can get the group missions and all that later. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I just, making sure. I knew you knew, but... Yeah, it's just sometimes you got to go through this part. I wish they'd make it, the rewards a little bit bigger, because I don't know why they made it so low, because... People would figure out after a while. I mean, I guess it's just part of the game. Okay, I gotta catch. Okay, we have some action down here. It says these are placeholders. Does anyone else have these on the map? The yeah, this should be. This is uh, for. The successful Yeah, this should be for uh, a successful miss miss wielder. Okay, placeholders down. Now we're gonna head. So this way, the way I'm facing, I guess we go across. Wait, we can't. I don't know if we can go that way. Let me check the map. I don't think so. I think we got to go down. To go to where? Oh, we want to go to number eight and number two. Uh, the board masher guy, she is all the way in the lower right. But that's on the other, you know, the far end, the southeast side. But in order to get out of here, we have to go down and around from where we're at right now. So I can see it on the map. If you want me to to lead the way I'm looking at the map. Yeah, we can just invis up, we can just run over. Yeah, it's either way if you want to invis or okay, we'll do that then. Uh let's make sure everybody's with us. Okay, take a right turn here. I believe it goes this way here. I'm driving by GPS here. Oh. And, oh, look at the marketplace again. And go this way. Let me zoom in the map a little better. You trying to get the gore or up? Well, yeah, we're going to clear the, uh, we're going to go all the way across. We're going to hit, when we get to the middle, there's uh, two named that you're usually there. We got one of them earlier, but it's uh, if you guys want to, we'll clear out the placeholder. Oh, we we'll just go get Gorda. Uh, okay, so you guys are going all the way across. Okay, we'll just go to Gorda then. So it's uh, yep this way. Yeah, it's, it's a little closer than I thought. Okay. 
I'll be out here. Are we pulling them out or are we going up to the top? Uh, well, I guess if she's in there, we should probably go in. Yep. Hey, where's she at? Upstairs, probably. Uh, I'm up. Okay, wait for everybody now. I'm going to see if I can track. Probably somewhere up here, browsing Cook. I found it. I hid into the rock. Okay, there she is somewhere. Somebody just smacked me. Oh gosh, where is she? Okay, we gotta stick together because I don't Bottom know. Bottom left she... corner inside in this room. Okay, it was okay, I'll try to come down there. Bottom left. Nice cloak. Oh, it's dead already. Oh well, we didn't get it on camera. Picker, it didn't happen, right? Well, so we did get her, we just didn't see it. Alright, roll up for the cloak. Need a greed. Let's see, what is it here? Uh, okay. I just, y'all can do the loot. I just got my visage and stuff running. Okay, so in the future, if we get a name, let's try to, uh, if we can, let's try to stay together. Otherwise, um, it won't show up uh, on the on the live stream. You won't be, get to see it at all. So yeah, no, that, I know. that may not be good because it'll just be like, well, somebody killed them. But it's just something we talk about and not see, actually. And nobody will know who even killed them. Is a roll the bone cruncher and I am in the zone? Uh, let me see. I'm looking, I'm looking. Um, no, I don't think so. he's not a, a named with, with good loot or anything, he's just a, a named like for the hunter achievement, probably. All named in the hunter achievement have loot. Oh, okay, but not like, well, I'm looking at EQ Resource and the other ones we've gotten, they didn't, uh, didn't have, they didn't have like a really good item. Um, Philip Miller asked a question, he said, when I get to level 90, am I going to have to kill 97 to 98 mobs to level? No, not really. Um, what you should do is you should get uh, the Broken Mirror quest done. And then do that, and you'll get the, the armor that will scale to your level within five levels. And the nice thing about that is that you go in and you just upgrade the augs on that. And I'll give you an example. Uh, here's an example right here, like this here. See, this you just change the augs out. Like a, they'll give you a level uh, five, a slot five, and type five and seven. And then what you do is you get this here. See how this goes from 100 to 105? As soon as you get to 105, you just buy the new augs. And the way you get the currency for that is you go into, see I'm all out now, you go in and you do a quest for Remnants of Tranquility. Or if you're on a live server, you just buy them in the bazaar. 
and that way you'll get the items to do it. So you won't have to be killing level 98 stuff for level 90 items, because I know what you mean. I know exactly what you're talking about. So I would suggest uh, doing that and then um, and leveling yourself up that way. Okay, let me move over here. Oh, tailoring supplies, weird things. So Zerul hmm. the Bone Cruncher is a name, and he's up. Okay. If we want to go find him. Okay. Um, whatever you guys want. Is he up here somewhere on this level? Uh, it says he's to the west of us, which could be the entire zone somewhere. Oh, okay. As long as he's not to the slightly southwest, mm -hmm. if he's directly west, that's a good thing. But southwest, we have to go down down one level. Yeah, the direction I'm facing is pretty much directly west. Okay, let me find you here. Oh, okay, so if you're facing that way, then, yeah, he could be on the other side somewhere. Or he could be closer. Uh, can you track by distance to see if he's close or far away? Uh, yeah, let me do that. And, uh, Philip, I have um, a video under it. It's called The Broken Mirror Armor <laughs> Quest. Take a look at that one. That... That is probably one of the best quests you can do because the payoff is so gigantic. Once you get that quest done, and it is kind of hard to do, you know, when you first do it. But if you have J5s and all, and you're decently geared, and you can do that and single pull it, the payoff is just incredible. And I'm telling you, I've been using that ever since. And this other stuff, I do have other items, but I don't really use the stuff that much. Dude, this is all bought. Like, you'll buy an item like Footman Trinket. It'll be a level 70 item. And you just plug in these augs and uh and look at this here and you can buy these for example this i bought in catacastrum and you can buy the augs that go even higher for a, a you know spell effect and stuff to improve tendon tear and all that and you can put uh, slot seven type stuff in there too which is really nice oh my power source is out uh. do you know where a cause the blood goddess is okay let me look Trying to look. Oops, lost it. He's pretty close to her, wherever that is. Okay, hang on a second here. I'm on the slow computer here. So what you saw there is my power source went out. I didn't even realize that. So let me find another one. Let me go load it up. Here, here's a power source. This is a seashell thing. You right click it. And after you kill a bunch of stuff, it'll wear out. Okay, so looks like it is going to be below us to the south a bit in that big circle area. Oh, okay then. Well, I guess we can head down there. Oops, there's some stuff up here. All right, I, it's impossible for me to pull these two guys up there. Uh, jump down real quick uh, down that okay, ramp. Okay, we got company up here. We're gonna we got to kill these guys off first. Okay, let me check the map, see where he is. Oh, I see, he's right over there. Okay, I'm just getting on top of this building. Okay, I'm right on top of you guys, that's good. We're heading in the right direction for the Bone Cruncher and the Goddess on them too. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. Keep the undefeated blade up. Um, we can get that Hunter achievement. No, the Steel Serpent is up if that's one too. Oh, wow. Um, Philip, did you get a full set by you go in there and you buy the the basic items and then you do the quests uh the heroic adventures and stuff so you get the um the augs for it and then when you get the augs you, that's how you, you work it back to scorpion land And so, um, 
because uh, the reason why you do it that way is they changed the way armor worked. Before, it used to be where you got a piece and after you le out-leveled it, you had to basically throw it away. But when you're doing it like this, you just get the basic armor piece and you change out the augs. Like as I was showing you here, here's an example right here. You just change the augs out and this stays the same right here. So you can, this will keep getting bigger and bigger. And so you can put um, a purity aug. So the purity is 75, meaning the quality and it gives more boosts that way. He's in this building right here. Okay, I'm coming. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, it's okay. No problem. Discord is good. We can uh, have more than one talking at one time. It's no problem. Okay, I guess we're on the bone crusher. If we want to set a uh, main assist, I can A E Mez. Okay, uh. You ain't gonna worry about A E Mez. A E Life Tap a lot. Yeah, he's uh, using A E Life Tap, won't need it. Nice Thanks, ring. These notes. That's a circle of life ring right there. That's a money ring. He just dropped that? Yeah, circle of life. I got circle of power four and guardian circle three. Yeah, I don't use any of my AE type of things. Circle of life is one of those things that were added um, a while back during the, I believe, Prophecy of Row expansion that uh, they're pretty rare, but you click it and everyone in your raid and or everyone in your area near you gets a bonus. Oh, this one's got circle, circle of life. life um, help you heals. Any heal that lands with that focus effect on the person, the heal will land for more. Okay, well, you guys go ahead and take it. It's no drop. I got this already. Yeah, so the ring that we just got here and the loot, it does have circle of life on it as a focus. Nice. Does it work with life taps? Oh, that'd be sweet. I wonder. I'm using the circle of life four, so I've got mine. So if you guys want to get the circle of life one, feel free to roll for it. You guys go ahead. You should try it, Donovan. Maybe it works. If you don't have a circle of life item, you should probably roll on it. Okay, I will put a roll on it. And there's some fighting going what on do somewhere. I put, put, I put greed? Yeah, just put greed on it. Yeah, Blayboy, there's something for you. It just the, the minute you drop left, we had we killed one, the named, and it dropped. But it's all right. There'll be more times. Don't worry. We'll be back. Another named. Okay, yeah, the, bring him over here. The Blade Queen is up, which is in the building next to us. Okay, cool. And we got Olga. Oh, right. Oh, hope that's a nice sword she's got. Whoa, that was quick. Pharaoh, the kill. Fear, Fear wash, wash legs. This is going to be an upgrade to uh, steel plates armor. Okay, I put greed on. I actually have the TBM stuff. It's it's quite good with all the oh, odds. Okay. But I'll go ahead. Okay. You know, it, it may be better. You never know. Yeah, maybe higher. Um, higher. Yeah, I like this. I think it's a stupid TBM focus. 
Yeah, third spire. Uh, yeah, I have that. Oh, that's on my other bar here. Oh yeah, I gotta put third spire here. Bring that third spire up. Got 50 million buttons to push. Man, I sure like bards in the group. They always take aggro off of me on the pull. <laughs> okay, an occultist. Going down. Okay, Blayboy said, side note for less, uh, uh, PB raid time is 7 central. What tune would you need for more raid? Uh, cleric or shaman? So Blayboy has a question for less is, what would you need more, a uh, cleric or a shaman? Well, the classes we need currently are ones that uh, have a pulse. What do you mean by that? A uh, real life person that's willing Anyone to... and everyone. Okay, <laughs> that, 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 that's good, Shanene. Anyone and everyone. So that mean, it means you're short of people? Yeah, right now we're sitting right around 30 people. And with raid 30. targets, we'd love to have about 40. But I mean, we we're knocking out Maestro and um any and other you know knocking out fear and the yeah now you know the thing I is i can add probably four or five to that count we know. do we allow it. guests to join i'm in i'm in pv you know um, back in the day i remember guilds having like hundred and something people in him like mm -hmm. what well, happened some do. Well, I mean uh, you would think that I mean I guess it's just the population has gone down okay bring him out here oh man <laughs> oh that is wow. not what I wanted to have happen I oh shoot not. these notes watch out yeah. oh gosh okay oh crap okay Uh -oh. oh, there's another name in there, too. Oh, gosh, you're not good. Okay. There's actually three names in there. Shit. Okay. Oh, can we get out here, some guy, somehow? Whoa. You back. Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, oh gosh. Ay, ay, ay. Oh well. Nobody, anybody get out? Nope. Nope. Oh, uh oh. How did that happen? Give me a second and I'll get that uh, druid online. Oh, I'm back in, I'm bound in the zone, remember? Oh, yeah. See? Oh, that's good. Yeah, every night there's at least one wipe, Jacob. We average one wipe per night. <laughs> okay, guys. So, uh, maybe we should have the Shadow Knight uh, Feign Death pull that? I can well, definitely up. pull out. Yeah, I can get him out of there if we've got enough space. Yeah, uh, who was the first one in there anyway? What what what'd you guys see? The name, one of the names was straight ahead. You could see him, but you couldn't see anybody else. I don't know. Oh, okay. So it's like that. Oof. Wow. And it's a big cluster waiting to happen. Yeah, we got to try to feign death pull it then. All I see was the whole entire building. <laughs> William Kelly says, one Sandomo, uh, Sandormo short of a win. Yeah, the wiper. You did miss the wiper. 
Uh, William, would you be able to tank those? Would you could could you have done it? There was a lot there. I'll go back and look at the video. See, wow, that was crazy. There's so many mobs in that room. I guess. All right, dragging you guys here in a second and rezzing. Liz, do, is my campfire still still in Chelsea? Sure. You're in uh, the arena. Okay, guys. Yeah, Blade Boy, you did luck out. You did miss all the fun uh, of the uh, wipe a doodle do. If I, yep. Uh, not much we could have done there. With that many, wow. Oh, my bind location is in, in the zone also. That's weird. How'd that happen? Oh, I guess I bound on the beach. Well, anyway, this is a nicer scene for you guys here. And I'll sit out here so you can see it. Okay, so you guys can see me on the beach. Let's get some good scenery into this picture. And me and that crocodile, look, he has the shortest legs on him. Look at that. <laughs> 2 percent. Let me see what I've got here. And this is a portal of shards landing. Okay, I'll take that, 96%. And I'm back here by the quest giver. I can actually, let's see where are we at. And I, can, I can pull the mobs out to here whenever we're all ready, of course. I can pull them out to here. Okay, be careful, but uh, I got I'm still at uh, 10 per 16 yeah, percent. I'm, I'm gonna wait till everybody's ready. Thank you. Um, William pull. said, I can, I actually don't see how many it was. Fort, what fortify would have given me time to mess, given time to mess and kill some others' tricks, maybe. Yeah, no enchanter tonight, but the bard could have probably, uh, I don't know if the bard can group air effect mess. He can. Okay, okay, then that would have done it then. Well. Yeah, so Deeznos would have been able to mess them. I hit it, but I was getting pounded on pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that that's that's we we'll just be careful. Okay, and we're back to 91%. And is uh, Shayna the Shanene the same one in the, uh, the game with us here? Is the one in yep. the chat? The one in... All right, welcome to the chat. And <laughs> of course, you're in the game, so welcome to the chat. Lady Shanene, the Baconizer. Uh, 
Let's see how I'm doing here. 78 points. I can't find much flare to maze you. Okay. Good idea. That was a pretty fast recovery after a complete wipe, though. Anybody want surety? If they have, if they really, if they don't have a warrant on true skin? I'm okay. For me, I, I get killed so quick, so I don't have much AC, so it doesn't matter for me. Go ahead, just throw out a symbol if you would be so kind, please. Alright. It's not group, but it's single target. It's rank three. Well, I've got that when there's no cleric in the group, so it's better than that, so. And Jacob says, agree, the recovery is moving along quickly. That, that, that's good, yeah. I'm, I'm back up here. These pulls can get tricky, but uh, the nice thing about it is after this uh, live stream is over, wait a couple hours till it fully is up on YouTube, and you can go back and see it. I always like to take a look back and see exactly what, what, what happened. Sometimes you'll see some things like, oh, that's how it happened, or you'll figure it out. And you'll just get to see how long, how quick the list fills up. That's like uh, Plane of Hate Revisited. We did that, and it's like I went back and looked at it, and man, the the amount of mobs the first time I was there just showed up as uh, a full list instantly. We can kill these scorpions though that way. Okay, I'm up for scorpion killing. Does anybody else need symbol? Oh, I'm okay. Let me look, see where everybody's at. Yeah. There's somebody new in the chat. Sean Liu, any advice or possibly returning to EQ for over 15 years? Last I remember are from Scars of Velius. Um, Wow, that was a long time. Well, I was kind of like in the same category as you. I um, I came back and at that time they didn't have a new time lock server like Agnar. And I started on um, just a, a live server and I did the Mines of the Glooming Deep just to, you know, see what the new game, the modern game was kind of like. So I started there. And then uh, later on I, I, I went to Agnar which you know is just like the old old school style play that you're talking about or that you played before and then i came to uh play a, more of the modern game and currently i'm at like level 100. so what i'd say is come if you want to come in as a free-to-play player come in as a free-to-play player get it on a server like frona vi and uh oh good nice fade there get on a server like that because it's got a decent population and then uh, play through the mines at a glooming deep. That'll get you to about level 10, 12. And see how you like it at that point. Otherwise, if you want to get the classic experience, then you could try to get on Agnar. And it's still a good time because the new expansion for them, which is Kunark, is just opening in a few weeks. So that's a great time to start over there because the, the classic era, you know, the classic zones will be less crowded. I think it's a fantastic way to go. So you've got two options that way. So let me know what you want to do. If you're if you're gonna play free to play, you won't be able to play on Agnar. But if you're gonna play, if you don't mind paying fifteen dollars a month like the old days, 
then uh, Agnar will be exactly like what you're used to back 15 years ago. It'll be very, very familiar. Actually, it'll be a little easier too because no corpse runs and um, uh, they have, um, you know, some things don't take weight like coins and stuff. A few other things too, like resting regeneration is faster. So let me know if you have any questions. What I'm going to do is, uh, when we're ready, I'm going to pull the name outside the building and around the corner, and then I'll get him out alone, and then pull him back to where y'all are. Okay, D's Notes, you've got the comm. Go for it. We'll watch you at work. Show us your skills. I've seen Pharaoh do this, but, uh, oh, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, man, you got the skills to pay the bills. Can I fling to me, dude? Oh, you got you got the rest of them though. Ah, Just bring him over here, be all right. Okay, going on steel serpent, I guess. Okay. Still a lot less than we had before. Oh yeah, definitely. He's got like an AOE or something. Nice job, guys. There we gotta go, go blinding fury. You can't see everything, but after a while you get a feel for where everybody's at. Yeah, much better done. Now this is a modern game, if you're watching. Yeah, it's a faster game, there's no single pulls really. It's a uh, bring em. And DPS them down. Okay. Dude, next time he goes blinding fury, we should all like run around the corner. So when he gets out of the blind, he's like, "Wait, where'd everybody go?" Oh no! Don't worry, I got the map. I can just pop the map pop up. The map. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do. You do it with the map. The blade queen will be next. Okay, that was a nice job there, D's notes. Good job, man. You're making yourself look good on camera here. This one will look ugly to begin with, but I'll split it up. I'm pulling the door one okay, since he was single. Okay, this. Yeah, oh shoot! Okay, kill the no, cultist. No, 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 he's fine. These, the, we only, we only have this one. Okay, let's kill off this guy. Okay, there's these notes using those bard skills. Sweet! Nice job, man. Sweet, sweet. I Ross the Sledge. You can do it. I know you can do it. I've seen uh, Pharaoh do this many times. Skilled bard at work. If you guys want to see a good bard doing his job, watch these notes over there. Should be just two right here. Okay, you, you make the call. Oh, Blade right, Queen. Everybody on the Blade Queen. Okay. Nice job there. And I believe there's another one in there. Zerol is back up. The one we Good job, him. man. Awesome. Very awesome. I got to give you a lot of credit. Wonderful. And let me check out this other one. Okay, guys, there you have it. D's notes at his best. The way it should be done. Sweet, man. Okay, I Ross the Sledge. I'm going to bring him out. Hold on, got somebody coming by the door here. I'm going to bring him out the back door and pull him around. Okay, that'll be skillful. Uh, there's two in the front here, so they'll add to it. But if you come around, oh, woo woo. Okay, you can do it. We got two here so far. He's still pulling those. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you work those D's notes, we'll kill off the yard trash. Nice. 
Here we go. Hold on a second, okay. All by himself. You the man. Oh man, nice, nice. So nice, wow. Oh, and there's the DPS list. Let's see. Steel plate, 140,000. These notes, 388. Oh, man. This, wow. 746 is uh, Donovan. Oh, ho, ho, wow. And, of course, less at the top. And Sean says in the chat, that helps much better than what I've been able to find Everything I found seems more core mechanics are changed towards solo play with mercs. They actually, they actually are for uh, now, and that's because the population has thinned out at the lower levels. But what I like to say is that we still play it if we can without mercs. Here, you can see this is all real people, no mercs at all, and the game is even better than ever. Oh, nice! Let me kill this guy, Sean. I'll be right back. But yeah, Mercs, is the game geared towards solo plus Merc? It can be. I find it more fun with three or four people and then maybe a Merc, you know, three to six people and, you know, fill in a Merc if you need to. Yeah, and that's less W there. And that's a good answer. Uh, definitely a, a good answer. Uh, a lot of times, the, the one good thing about Mercs is if you're out there and you don't have a complete group, or you're out and there's nobody to play, you're playing at a weird hour or something, then it's it's good to have the mercs, I think. But you could also try Agnar too. Um, there are some negatives about it, I'd say, but you know, if you like the, the feel and you want to recapture that feeling of the good old days, that is a place to be. It is the best the best time lock server to be on right now, I would say, without a doubt. Anybody want charity rank three? Oh, oh, what's that? Brain. You want surety rank three? I got the cleric. I got him back in here. Oh, I'm okay. You, you, just with these other guys. I mean, like I said, I only have 1,900 hit points. I die as fast All as right. an enchanter. Liz, so, what, what was the parse on that one? The one we just killed. Our arm touch is where it's at. Wow, I don't even think I'm on the list. That's funny. Did we oh, know I'm at the bottom. The blood goddess. Yeah, anyone you want. I mean, with your pulling skills, the way you're doing it, bring whatever you we like. We have not yet killed the blood goddess one. See, I thought she was up earlier. Uh, I don't see her on track anymore. Maybe we, maybe we killed her somehow. No, it's, we didn't get credit for it if we did, because my it's on hunter, track for me. Okay, is it? She, maybe she maybe ran it's away. Too far away. Yeah, probably further away. Nope, it's in that building somewhere. I'll ask uh, Miltrock the week here. Have you seen in Blood Goddess? The building in front of us. Uh, the one I'm in, I'm looking for her now. Okay, he's over there. He's looking. Upstairs. It's going to be upstairs. If there is an upstairs in that building. Yeah, so in a short answer, Sean, if you're going to play, if you want to get a grouping experience, go to Agnar. Uh, but if you don't care too much and you want to have a little bit of solo play, or that we call it molo play, meaning you have a merc, but it's actually you and a merc, then try a live server. If you want to save some money, um, you could uh, try the live server and then later on go to Agnar. But I would really say that if you played the Velius, try to get on Agnar pretty soon rather than later because you want to get there just as it's opening because all the classic stuff items are going to be on fire sale. And the right, price way up here through that teleporter is the name. 
Okay, can you bring it down? Nope, not safely. I'd recommend coming up. Okay. Where is the teleporter on this one? The lower left. All right, guys, let's go. Here we go. I'm going to creep over there. Follow me. Okay, I did the teleporter. I'm upstairs, guys. Come on up and join me. I'll wait for you guys. There we are. I'd say we just rush the room. Okay, wait for Let's make sure everybody's here first. The thing about Agnar that I've been playing on it a lot is there's a lot of greedy people on there. I, I will I definitely agree with you. There's some, some crazy greedy people. You won't find a group, unless you build your own group, you won't find a group where somebody that actually needs an item will be the only one rolling on it. Everybody wants to roll on it because everybody wants to make money. That That is true. It really is. A lot, I, one thing I'd say is that a lot depends on your level, too. If you are at a higher level, you're going to see more of that. But let's just say you're under level 30 or you're a casual player. You probably won't run into that. It'll, it'll be okay, I think. It's terrible when I'm red. Yep. I play Too on cut throat. a little bit. See, I like Tess because it's more laid back. It's more like, eh. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, pick jumpers. Uh, you know, I, I did a thing, a video called uh, Agnar, is this the end? And it was the end for me. The best thing about it, though, is I met a lot of great people. I mean, because everybody's there. I met, of course, you meet a lot of turds, too, but a lot, a lot of really good people I met. And I think that was the highlight of it all. So if you're looking for that, I think that's good. And if you if you don't play past, like, level 30-ish or so, you're going to be good. But as um, the new expansion opens up, a lot of the people that are farmers and stuff, they're going to be moving on and spreading out. Right now, everybody's concentrated in classic and... Yeah, like uh, Dee's note said, you're seeing the greediest of the greediest of the greediest. It's just insane what you see out there. Follow me. Let's kill the two placeholders in this room, please. Oh, never mind. It's a name we've already got. All right, never mind. I'm here at Dee's notes. Are y'all still up there on top? No, we came down uh, here. Come down through the portal, we're right there. The yeah, we're right at the portal here. Me and D's nose whacking away. Dang, uh, uh, my DPS is not that great. Time for a new weapon. All right, congratulations, Pharaoh. You're just not engaged in a mob like me. <laughs> it's dead, but before we even hit auto attack. Yeah, I know. Ninety-eight percent to level one hundred one. Undefeated blade up, or is it placeholder still? I don't see it. Um, Corsair, the neck breaker is up. Here we go. Ahead Nendor the daunting. Oh, I got killed somehow. Oh. Oh, I guess we didn't have the healer there. Where's your corpse at? I'll give you a divine or as a hunter. I'm right next to uh, D's notes. 
and Sh Lady Shanene. And thank you very much. Was oh, that Blade Boy? Yeah, that's that's a no XP loss. Or XP. Thank you so much, man. You're the best. Okay, so what happened there? I got s somehow. We should just we should stick together here. Y'all yeah, hang out right there. I can bring the next name to to us right there in that circle. Uh, it's a really bad spot to pull to, just FYI, because of all the stuff that's around us. Okay. We can clear to it. I'm going to wait here. I just got We just should move. We should not be staying in this circle. Okay. I guess this isn't the circle of life then. <laughs> <laughs> well, the back there next to the quest giver, I can pull it out there. Yeah, that, that that's a good spot too. Okay, I'll, I'll, let's go over there. What's the name you pull? Uh, Corsair, the neckbreaker. Yeah, Jacob, that's an ouchie. All right, you know I don't have much AC. I'm a uh, DPS class, so. Uh... Hey guys, I uh, gotta help. Uh, you know who over here? Yeah, I know. Don't tag this one yet. Okay, hang on a second. We gotta kill these guys here. Yeah, I'm just saying I'm getting them out of here somehow. Yeah, I'm gonna gate out so I don't grow any more crowds. Oh, you're you're okay. Thanks for the thanks for the res. I mean, that's very nice, right. Playboy. Appreciate it. Yeah, I don't want to be dragging stuff on y'all either, so I'm gonna get out. No, you're okay, man. Whoa, D's notes, you okay, man? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I got him. Be careful. Oh, take your time. Are... Yeah, they're all. I can uh, A them as them though if we need to. There's two names in here. Oh gosh. Okay, guess we're on Corzar. Okay, that was nice. So, yeah, looks like I did, Ryan. And guys, I just did a level 101. Uh, uh, looks like almost one level a day. <laughs> Going a little fast. Congrats. Thank you, thanks, these notes. Kazak, the twisted is up. Let's see where he's at. Let's check out the achievements for this zone here. Uh, let me see, Hunter for... Oh, 
<laughs> we got a long way to go getting these named. We got a lot of them. Defeat the, any of the following gladiators. We've killed a bunch of the gladiators. But they have a lot of these other ones like... Oh, we got a long way to go. Wow, just looking at this, guys. If you see it on the, the live stream, here's what you need to do to get this hunter achievement. Oh, my. It seems like some of those optional hunter ones, they don't actually drop any loot, though. Yeah. No, there's a lot of these we've killed that hadn't. That's like what I was trying to say is that I looked under EQ resource. There's only about six of them that really drop any unique loot. Um, the rest of them are, I guess, they're just, you know, they dropped the standard issue loot. Cannibal time. Looks like you got him single there. The two optionals. Like, you know, we killed or... these guys like uh, Ass. Alash, the cannibal, he probably doesn't drop anything too unique, just the normal stuff. Nice job again. Yeah, you see he just drops like um, energy shard and fracture shard and diamond, but he doesn't drop any any item like a cloak or anything. Thanks, Jacob. Uh, be, gonna be getting there and steel plate has finally surpassed Nerdist. Nerdist, I kept them back because uh, we don't really need an enchanter so much. But it'd Death be... Fang is up. Okay, Death Fang. That thing's gonna be dead fang soon. Here's uh Ogarok the Charming incoming. That's, that's the name that drops here. This one's probably gonna be a big split, so give it a second. <laughs> okay, we'll let you do your work, these notes. These notes at the helm. Whoa, look at this here. Woohoo. Good job. Oh, yeah. You just got Orgook or Gook, the charming. Let them let these, they're all going away. Well, come here. You do your thing. Uh, Pharaoh, what's going on? Perf club. You, you let, uh, these notes do that. Here we go. We got some here. Okay, we got this ogre thingy guy. Okay, taking down Big Daddy here. And there's one more over in that same room. Where'd you say, uh, Death Fang? Let's see. Straight south of us. I'm ready. Get him while y'all are finishing that. Dread note, dream note. Okay, I'm gonna answer the questions in the chat. Um, Jacob says, so at this rate, you'll be 105 on Thursday. Oh yeah, you know, I, I really, I, I only play when I stream, Jacob. So it's it's likely maybe in a week or two, I'd say. Um, definitely, uh, you know, you get a good group like this, you see how fast it goes. But keep in mind that. On the test server, there is an experience bonus, so that allows you to level even faster. That makes a big difference. And uh, Blayboy says, "Grats, grabbing coffee and spending time with wife and w 
with right before work. Thanks for being here, Blade Boy. We uh, will always miss you, and I hope to see you again, hopefully tomorrow, as we'll do something else tomorrow for sure. Open to suggestions for viewers and players here. I gotta wait till he gets outside the building before I fade. Good job. I'm gonna sit here so I can watch you at work here. Nice job. I like it when I see a single one on there. That's some skills there. Find out where he went. He disappeared. Hey, I can single pull too, except I usually get like 10 singles at once. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's okay. You, you, you're doing fine what you're doing. All right, these notes. Take your time. Work it. We're patient. Ooh, Patience. Getting stunned. Right, you I'm can. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! You can do it, these notes. I'm gonna get some heels before I try that again. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> there we go. That's the way to do it. Safe. That's what I like. Do these scorpions uh, add? I don't know. I don't think they're social. Okay, so she's our champ. Get off of me. Just a heads up, I got about 30 minutes left. Okay. Top of the hour, I mean. Okay. Same here, too. Okay. Um, yeah, I, you know, I can stay on just a little while longer, and, uh, you know, we'll keep going. We'll see what we've got. We might not be able to get this one out. He's upstairs, and there's a lot of mobs in there. We may have to go up there and get him. If you get him, lead the way. if you get him and jump off the top, and then come down at the bottom, and then they come all come down here. Can you fade him down here? He he was downstairs, and I faded him. There's just too many, too many there. Let's just go up to him. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll boss. Lead the way, sir. Up here. We're all in this, right? Wow, y'all came all the way out here. Amazing, these notes. In this portal right here. We all here? Yeah. Uh, I am. No, I'm not. Okay, okay, everybody here? No, we're missing. Where are you at? Let's see. Okay, we'll wait here. I just I won't move until everybody's here. I'm next to these notes. I'm here. Okay. Here well, there's Shanene, and uh, we have these notes, and we have here we are. Death fangs. Jump into Death Fangs' little cozy corner here. Oh. And uh, who killed him? Shanene, oh my gosh. That was crazy. Not that's me. a shocker. Not yeah, that's a shocker. I was like, who? Wow. The only time I get kills is when I time it and to go for the kill steal. <laughs> you gotta wait till it's right at the bottom. The health is really low, and then quickly press like three your 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 best damage uh Discipline. And Kazad, the twisted, the last one we need, is also up on track. Yeah, he is this way. Back down, everybody. Wait, not there, not there. He's in the next building right here. Okay, I'll sit out here. Okay, let me see where everybody is. Follow me. Back in the center area. 
Yeah, come out here okay. to the west. Okay, there's D's notes. I'll follow D's notes. He's in to the ahead and to the left. Right here he is. We all here? I can't believe yep. Twisted Sister can't see me. Oh, I'm going for the kill shot. Oh, Shanani again? What? <laughs> <laughs> you stole my kill. <laughs> what is going on? What? <laughs> oh, it's man. Like the last one I need. Well, no, I need a few more. No, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of the room. I'm so big now. what we got on track. A defeated gladiator. Okay, defeated gladiator. We should defeat you again. Good night, Jacob Wiseman. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much. It's always good to have you there. Did we do Zero on the Bone Crusher yet? Uh, what's that? Yeah, that was one of the first ones we did when we came down. On my list, I've got every one of the bottom optional ones checked off. Yeah, I got everything below the 100 hands of blood. I'm happy for what I got. I didn't check, but it's all good to me. So we can do... I think the rest of the names are on the, the top side of the zone. Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, I'm going to suker back and uh, finish that first quest that's on my list. Uh, anybody want to join me for the uh, Prove Your Worth Slave quest? Oh, uh, <laughs> that, that one you got to go in there. Well, should we wind it down then? Uh, maybe we'll get to a scenic spot or something like that. How's everybody doing out there? Sounds fine to me. Okay, that's um I think let's just okay, we got Sucre, yeah, okay. Sucor. We're loading. Oh, and I'm on. Oh, this is a good, a decent spot. Let me see here. Uh, actually, let's see. We should probably go a little further so I can get us all in the picture. A fish, what are you doing up here in the land? Okay, I think <laughs> we'll be okay here. He's dry docked. Okay, guys, gather around. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I guess I'll get ready to end the stream. So I got these notes on my right, Lady Shanani on the left, and I'm waiting for Pharaoh and, okay, Donovan. We're missing Les W. There he is, the man of the magic carpet. So you can be next to Shanani. You'll fit. And, and uh, who is Prasaro? That's Donovan's uh, cleric, I guess. No, that's my druid. Oh, that's your druid. Okay, yeah, bring him on in. Okay, so I want to make sure everybody's in the picture here. Uh, okay, let's go here. Okay, I want to thank all of you for joining us tonight. We have a new group tonight. And boy, was this a lot of fun. I love the zone. And we have no, it was a no merc group tonight. And starting on the right hand side of the screen, we have Les W, the zone crasher. And he was our druid tonight. Thanks for coming, Les. Great job. And and the next over to the left to him is Lady Shanene. The Baconizer was our warrior. And in the end, she was getting all the kills somehow. Nice wave there. I don't know how she did it, but she did. <laughs> and next over to the left is Steel Plate. Played by yours truly, Cat's Meow. 
to my right or at to the left is D's notes. D's notes came in later as our bard, and boy, did he do a great job of pulling. If you want to see some good bard pulling, check this video out, rewind it, wait till it's all the way up, and check out how he was able to pull out the name out of those big, big piles of mobs. And to the left of him is we have Pharaoh's druid named Persaro. And he was, our, he was a druid that helped get people here, so uh, he played a very important role, and so did Les, the Bren people here. And to the left of him, or to the left of him, is Pharaoh. He's our usual bard, and he hit level 97 tonight. Good job, Pharaoh. And to the left of him is Donovan playing uh, Lock Rain. Oh, he did a great job, too. Some crazy killing out there. And guys, let's pan out. And look at this majestic place. Look at this. Ignore the docks here, but look at in the background. Look at the graphics. Who says EQ doesn't have great graphics? And look at that big snake up there. Wow. Check this out, guys. Check it out. So, from uh, Chelsith Reborn, on the docks, I want to wish all you guys a great night. We'll see you tomorrow where we'll do it all over again. We're going to do something else. I'm open to suggestions. So you guys in the audience suggest something or players suggest something and we'll go there. We'd like to go somewhere different every time. Thank you for watching and have a great night and have a great weekend.